What's goody? What's poppin', y'all? Welcome back to another video. We're here with the Lucky Penny, and it's time to go fast. Today, we got our Kirky installed. It's all in there, braced up. Everything, all I have to do is adjust my clutch because the seat is sitting a little further away from the clutch. Um, we did put in some new wires because I know our wires are getting a little old. So we threw some new wires and spark plugs in. Uh, we're on E86 today for the track. We also have a new housing, uh, exhaust housing. It's in my truck. We have a new exhaust housing for the turbo. It's a 0.82, uh, which should give us a hundred more extra horsepower. I'm gonna throw that on uh, after this track day. We're gonna do a track day today, and then we're gonna try to see how that works out. Um, we also did, what else did we do today? Uh, a couple other little things, but the seat was the number one thing that I wanted to get in the car. So now that we're gonna try to get the clutch all done, we're gonna give it a car wash and then take it up to the track. Track opens up at 11 o'clock. I think it's like 10.30 right now. Oh, it's 11 o'clock actually. So we're gonna probably just head straight there and um, get it all done. So let us let me get this clutch all done and then we'll be able to head over there. All right, so we're at the track. We're at the track. I got the Lucky Penny out today. So we're gonna try to see what it runs today. Hopefully we get a good number in. Uh, right now we don't have the seat in. It's in the back of the truck currently. But we'll try to see what it runs. Uh, I have never launched this car with the dog box and at this track. So hopefully we get a couple of test launches in and then get a good one later on. So I'm just going to try to baby into it and then get into it later. Second pass. Uh, we're gonna try to launch it a little harder. 
Hopefully it don't snap an axe or anything like that. We're gonna try to launch it just a little tad, a little harder. Guys, so we ran uh, a 10.8 and 125 miles per hour. Um, we had a 1.660 foot. Uh, ter like reaction time really don't matter because I'm just trying to launch it. But yeah, so we almost done. God damn. So you gotta be careful kids. If it starts getting loose, let out. Don't be a hero. Tore his competition M3 up, man. The competition M3, very expensive car. Destroyed. So, Jesus. Our boy Don Anderson right there. That's where it was, Don miles per hour. Blew the tires off and still ran a nice eight pass. It's insane.
Not bad. How'd Dad do? He did good. He did good? Yeah. Good. Super fast. Fast? Yeah. Yeah, he is, ain't he? Last pass, last pass I ran a 10-9 with a 1-9-60 foot. I watched, I was like in my head, not paying attention. And we went more mile per hour, so that tells me my reaction time was trash, so. I was at the light, I was sitting at the light, and I was just like thinking about it the whole time. And I didn't pull my eat my handbrake the whole fucking time. I was just sitting there on two step. Then last second I grabbed my handbrake and that's why the launch was trash. So this time I'm actually remember to grab the handbrake and actually do it right. I always have seen a truly hammer the throttle here we get. He's staged and ready. Let's go the import. <laughs> I'm saying guys I ran a 12 12 117 miles per hour um at with a 1760 foot that was a trash pass because like I said um I had pushed it into fifth when there's no fifth I don't know how I even did that I've never done that before so I pushed it into fifth when there's no fifth and so it didn't even like continue to roll the power and then I threw it in third and like continued to race but I went to 12-12 with me missing a gear completely bad. So right. hopefully we can get this thing into like the low tens uh, once we put the new turbo stuff on. So got a lot of work, but it was a great day. What you got to say? Good. good. What you got to say, Ocean? The camera shot. So hopefully we get this thing all officially done and worked out. But. That was my last pass of the day. I'm gonna go get some air and then we're gonna hit back home. Catch you on the next one. Peace.